Hey everybody, Michelle Ann Johnson with Speech Queen. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Meg Whitman, CEO of Hewlett Packard Enterprises. And I think it's important that we look at women in power so that we start to retrain our brains around what leadership should look like. And as one of the few female CEOs out there um, doing it at the level that Meg's doing it, um, I, I think it's important that we, that we look at what she's doing well as a speaker. Before I jump into it, one of the things that you might notice is that she's speaking very slowly and deliberately. And one of the reasons for that might be because she's speaking to an audience in Bologna, Italy. And so probably an audience um, where English isn't their first language, and so she's making that adjustment, which is exactly what you should be doing um, to, to your audiences, making whatever adjustments you, you need to make uh, in order to be clearly understood. And with that, let's just jump right in. Well, good afternoon, and welcome to Reimagine 2017. And before I do anything else, I want to thank you for your business and for your partnership and for investing your time to join us this afternoon here in Bologna. Today here, we wanted to show you what Hewlett Packard Enterprise is all about, our vision for IT and digital transformation, the innovations that we're delivering, the solutions that we are offering, and so I hope that when you visited the show floor and attended workshops and talked with our team, I hope you found a renewed sense of energy and a renewed focus. Okay, so you know what I'm going to say, right? Meg's likable. <laughs> uh, you're probably like, we get it, Michelle, with this likability thing. But you know what? It's important. I'm sure you, you might have, have heard already that um, a number of the candidates who are throwing in their hats into the 2020 presidential race, this term likability is being thrown out. And so it, it is important. It is something that we judge our leaders by, and she is likable. Now, one of the ways that her likability comes across and her warmth is that she uses very open gestures, very, and they're symmetrical. So she just, you know, the, she, she doesn't have like one arm down to the side and one arm out. She's using both her gestures and they're both and very open. And subconsciously, as an audience, we read that as she is open, she is warm, she is welcoming. She has a very gracious quality about her. It's like she's a hostess uh, inviting her, inviting us into her home. And um, what's, one way that that comes across is through her content as well. You know, she started off by thanking the audience for being here. And then she says, I hope one of the things that you've seen on the shop floor. So again, very gracious, very warm, very welcoming. But I also hope you found something familiar. The same unwavering commitment to you and to your business success. So speaking slowly we to be understood. To provide you with the information, the insights, and of course the networking opportunities that help you achieve even better IT and business outcomes. Okay, so she made a little bit of a, a, a flub there. Uh, it wasn't huge. The great thing that she did is she just kind of kept going. And so if you make a mistake, it's not a big deal. It's only a big deal if you make a big deal about it. Just keep on rolling through and that's what she does. But these events are also very helpful to us in terms of hearing your feedback. What are your challenges? What are your priorities so we can serve your needs even better? So again, thank you for coming. Now, one of the things that I notice is that she is pacing around a little bit. And sometimes that's a good idea because you've got a big stage. And I'm going to show an example of that in the next video. Uh, where the speaker is in a gigantic stage and you want to fill that space. But this venue, it's not that big, the stage isn't that big, the prob there probably aren't that many people in the audience, and so there's really no reason for her to be pacing back and forth besides nerves. And what that's doing is it's dissipating her performance energy. You know, I've worked with people and uh, they'll be walking around, pacing, I'll say, okay, plant your feet. 
and then that energy will come out in their arms and I'll say, okay, drop your arms. Then I'll move their head. <laughs> Stop moving your head and then it'll come out in their voice. That energy wants to come out some way. And it's wasted energy if it's coming out on your feet when you don't need it to be. So if I were working with somebody like Meg, who I saw was pacing around a lot and they didn't really need to, I'd ask her to plant her feet and channel that energy into, um, into delivery gestures, into your face, into your voice, into some other physicality that serves your content a lot more than just pacing back and forth. Another thing that I'll mention is that I'm noticing that she's doing a lot of reading. And I totally understand she's the CEO of a major company and so she probably doesn't have a whole lot of time to memorize a script. And this, this is a very, very long talk. Um, and so one thing though that I would highly recommend is that you say the words out loud before you actually get up on that stage. Even if you've got that confidence monitor down there and I know that's why it's there, you want to say those words out loud because it starts to train your brain to get it into muscle memory. So it doesn't come across as you're just reading it. It comes across as more conversational. Another thing that I would recommend in her instance is, and I've talked about this in a previous video, there's a difference between spoken language and written language. It sounds differently to the ear. There are grammatical rules and syntax that we use in written language that just doesn't translate very well to, to spoken word. It comes across as a little stilted. And so I can kind of tell that somebody wrote this for her and now she's just reading it. And so that's another thing, um, another reason to say the words out loud before you get up on that stage is you can find those places where it comes across as a little wooden because you're using those formal, you know, written rules and start to smooth them out, start to make those adjustments, start to make it more conversational um, so that it, it sounds more natural um, in, in a more conversational quality as opposed to sounding like a marketing brochure, which it, it sounds a little bit like, like that here. So those are my big takeaways is that I would talk about um, those open gestures um, as a way of being warm and welcoming to your audience. Uh, I would talk about the need to say those words out loud before you get up on that stage. I know, you know, sometimes you, you take the, the plane there and you, you, you drop off your luggage at the hotel and you got to get up on that stage and deliver that talk. Say those words out loud on the plane. <laughs> Whisper them to yourself. Go to the bathroom. Uh, say those words out loud. Find some time. It is time well spent. Uh, and the other thing is, don't dissipate your energy by pacing back and forth if you don't need to. If you need to fill up a big stage, find strategic ways, find intentional ways to make, that, to make those crosses. Otherwise, plant yourself and let that energy be channeled into physicality that is much more uh, compelling, like in your face, like in your voice, and like in your gestures. Hope this is helpful, guys. Until the next video, be well.